Mini Masker here. And on today's vlog, I talk about what I eat nearly every day. I want a low carb diet. Because carbs are evil. Some people are carbohydrate intolerant. And I would say that's me. Kind of makes me go a bit crazy. So I eat Parma ham. Oh, shoot, dog. There's some protein. It's weird because in Japan they don't have to tell you the nutritional content. So I have no idea how much fat or calories are in here, which is really fucking annoying since I like to count them because I don't, so don't want to be fat. Although, if I did become fat, I would be placed somewhere in the tier list of victimhood. And supposedly I could get people to feel sorry for me and give me shit. But I don't need people to feel sorry for me to be successful. Anyways, going on a tangent, Parmaham. So, there's no carbs in here at all. sexy mm. fucking love eating um yeah in the store most of the parma ham is quite moist So I always try to get get one that's like a little bit dry because then the salt starts clumping up on the surface and it's I just like it more. As for this batch, it's kind of halfway in between my ideal Parma ham from this brand and the kind that's not ideal. <laughs> What's the opposite of ideal? There is none. Unsuited? No. We need something like in ideal or unideal. I need that protein, man. Because I'm I do bench press. kickboxing so I can knock out anyone who starts talking shit. Not that I'd do that. Only self-defense. And then, oh look what I found. No, it's not an orange. It's a grapefruit. I like finding food. That's really rare. I never, I never find food these days. Food doesn't last very long. And this is my secret weapon. It's it's basically full fat yogurt, or well, basically no sweetener in this yogurt. And I put coconut oil in, and I stir it in, and the coconut oil solidifies at a certain temperature, and it all solidifies in these weird kind of. 3D patterns inside which breaks when you hit the spoon into it. And acacia honey. Why acacia? Because acacia is the lowest honey on the glycemic index. There are many different types of acacia honey. There's some from China, there's some from Japan, there's some from Hungary, wherever. Um, not being racist, but I'm a bit skeptical of the Chinese one because they're always cheaper, right? You, and anyways, you don't really know how low or high honey is on the glycemic index unless you test it. But they say online that acacia honey is the lowest on the glycemic index. So this is a cheat. If you want to eat sugar, you've got to eat honey because it's natural. It's not natural because it's refined sugar. It'll make you fat. 
honey will make you less fat, I'm pretty sure, especially if it's a cassia honey. So it looks like that. Now, when I eat it, I get all these sights. See the flake? You see that? Flakes of coconut oil. Adds texture. So all that coconut oil on the side. Coconut oil also reduces the strength of the glycemic index. Look at that. This is beautiful. Fucking sexy. Breaking the, look at that coconut oil there. Crazy. Crazy shit. I mean, obviously there's other people who do this, right? They've discovered that putting coconut oil into like a full fat yogurt makes the coconut oil solidify once you mix it in. But no one talks about it. You could serve that in a restaurant. I'm not even joking. And that's the crazy thing about natural ingredients. Gordon Ramsay, the master British TV personality chef, would attest to this because I've read his biography. Natural ingredients speak for themselves. There's no need to over compliment a dish if it's, it has natural ingredients. You can get away with making it quite simple because the natural flavours are so good. Yogurt isn't really natural, but anyways, yeah, natural yogurt, natural honey, natural coconut oil, nothing added, really, nothing added. That's the way to go, man. And so, imagine if they use like the finest quality natural yogurt finest quality honey, finest quality coconut oil in a restaurant, it would be killer. I should start serving this. Like in a milkshake, this would be too much, I'm telling you, like, you just make it and you add the coconut oil last so it all gets crispy inside, that would be fucking next level. I don't have much to say right now. Go and make this shit. Nothing this healthy should taste this good. This is really good for my kickboxing. Which I practice because if you're on a low carbohydrate diet, you can't kickbox. You need some form of carbohydrates. And this is where I get it from. This and apples. Coconut oil is like on the spoon, like frozen to it, frosted. It's borderline sexual. It's like, it's like, mm, it's good. You know, when you don't want it to end. And cheese, whole cheese, hard cheese, total carbohydrate, zero, lots of fat, which is good on a, on a low carb diet.
probably wondering where my vitamin C is coming from. Well, grapefruit is the lowest on the glycemic index. It's about 25, which is ridiculously low. It's like a magic fruit. People don't know that, but you can get away with eating a lot of grapefruit without getting fat. No. This has been here for a day because it's warm. I, I just realized I ate one of these already on the way home. Looks much better when it's warm. Wow. But you can see how poor color it is because even when it's warm, it's not really melting. But poor quality food in Japan is top quality food anywhere else. Top quality food in Japan is dangerous. So fucking dangerous. Man, this is good actually. Mmm. Mmm. I'm too impatient to let things get to room temperature though. I love eating, man. In my local yakitori shop, for those that don't know, yakitori means grilled chicken. I hold the record for most eaten. That would be easily beaten by a food fighter, but it's a ten, the shop's been there for 10 years, nearly 11, and I hold the record for the most ever eaten in one sitting. Tells you everything you need to know about my eating habits. So this is my last thing I'm going to eat for now. A grapefruit. I, should, I wish you get a plate with these. Like the juice goes all over my fucking pants or my carpet. Oh, fucking hell. Grapefruits really vary in quality. not bad. Yes, yeah, it's fucking good. This is a great one to finish on like, I think this prevents the food coma, kind of gives you that little bit of boost you need to get through the food coma at the other side. That's decent. 